before I get to modeling any of the other things that I want to do, I'll just touch up this here. So I'm going to put an edge loop in there. And in face selection, I'm going to shift alt and click all those faces and come to check or deselect. I hit I to inset, pull them in, scale in the Z a little bit. Let's delete the faces. <laughs> all right, so we got some holes in there now. I'm going to do a similar thing up top. And let's get that. This edge loop, I'm going to pull it down. I'm going to bring another edge loop up top. I think I'll bring two. And then in face selection, I'm going to select three faces. And three faces. Three faces. And three faces. I'd inset. Come in. Delete. Let's have a look and see how much we deform our mesh. I think from a distance that's probably okay. All right, let's let's leave that like that. Let's create a new collection here, and I'm going to call this coffin. this. I don't need that. I don't need that. All right. Coffin. I'm going to look down from the top and I'm going to bring in a plane. And I'm going to take these and I'm going to scale. And I'm going to take these and pull them out. Hit extrude and I'm going to scale again. Let's get the general shape of a coffin like that. Okay. I'm going to put an edge loop right down the middle and I'm going to delete uh, actually all of these now that I think about it. I didn't need that. All I needed is these. All right, I'm going to hit E to extrude. I'm going to pull up and give the overall height of the coffin. Or we're going to try to come up straight. Hit A to select everything, B and Alt S, and I'm going to pull. And you can pull in, down, or up, doesn't matter, to get the general thickness of the wood. Just like that. Look down from top view. And I am going to, I'll go into wireframe, I'm going to grab these. And actually, I think the way I'll do this is I'll grab these ones. I'm going to turn on snap. I'm going to pull them and snap to these vertices there. That's fine. So they're straight, and these ones I'll just go SX, zero. Okay, so there we go. Let's turn off snapping, so I've got that. I'm going to put on a mirror in the Y. And uh, I may, uh, let's see, I might move these in a little bit. Okay, that looks fine. All right, now I'm going to bring in another plane. Rotate Y90. I'm going to look from the front or the back. And we're going to scale this in. And we're going to make it fit. And in here is another piece of wood. So that's where, there we go. Right there, I can be a little bit within because I'm going to put a top and a bottom on this. Okay, select that and extrude it. I don't even know if I would need to extrude it because it's not going to be really visible. I'm going to take that and I'm going to shift D and I bring it down to the other end. Like this. Scale this in the Y. So it's inside. I could be getting rid of faces. I really should be, shouldn't I? Hopefully that's wide enough as a coffin. I don't know if it is. Maybe it needs to be like that. Let's go back to here. Let's scale everything in the Y. Do this one here. And then we'll come back up to this one. Control L. 
I don't know what side I'm looking at. That side there. Is that already touching? I think it is. Let's have a look at that. Let's take this. And let's um, uh, get that row of vertices. Let's shift D and bring them up. I've got the mirror on still. Let's uh, P to break them out. I'll grab just those. Ah, I didn't want to do that. Let's just come in. I'm going to go E to extrude, but I'm going to turn on the clipping in my mirror. I'm going to pull across. Have them do that. Make sure that they touch. So I get that. I'm gonna go ahead and apply that mirror. And now I can set origin and geometry. Let's go in. I'm gonna give this some thickness. And uh, we're gonna let's bring this down and we're gonna scale this. I'm just gonna hit S. I'm gonna scale that evenly. I'm gonna look at the sides first of all, so I'm just gonna keep going S, and then I'll scale this in the X so that's shorter. Something like that. Let's try taking this and just bringing it down. So hopefully it looks like it's made of different pieces. And uh, we're not done, but we'll go ahead and um, let's apply that mirror and let's put a bevel on this. We'll go from two, 0, 0. And we'll try four. Uh, maybe not. Yeah, maybe that. All right, let's grab this. And control L modifiers and this. I don't think I need to bevel those inner pieces. <clears throat> what I'd also like to do is to come in here and put an edge loop there and an edge loop there. It's right in the middle. I'm just switching to edge selection. Shift Alt and click there. And I'm going to go Control B and pull back. And I want one segment in there, so roll my mouse up, one, I don't want it too big, something like that. And then I grab the middle one, and I'm going to just Alt-S and push. Not too much, uh, I'll try that, to give the simulation that it's, or indication that it's two pieces of wood. Yeah, try that. I don't know if it'll match my scene, but uh, we'll try. I'm going to do one there, and I'm going to do one there. Okay, so all at the same level. And then Control B, I'm going to pull, and it'll already have one uh, edge loop in the middle there. Uh, and grab that. It doesn't matter if they're different thicknesses uh, on these pieces and on these uh, alt uh, Actually, is that, that, yeah, they're both pulling. Okay. And if I wanted to tighten them, I can um, I can take the edge loops. Let's try this and see if I need to scale in the Z. No, it might be a little bit too much. I'm not going to do that, though. Yeah, well, whatever you could if you wanted to. Does it look right? Um, and then I had thought of, initially I was thinking of doing this and grabbing all of these and uh, control B with one. We'll try it again. I'll just show you because I, 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 I don't think I liked it. get everything yeah and then uh, alt s oh, not too much you know but I, I just I don't think that looks real I don't know so we're not gonna do that all right uh, let's get rid of that stuff all right uh, instead what we're gonna do is we are gonna take uh, what if I take no we'll just do a separate one 
Okay, we're gonna bring it in out of the plane. Basically, what I was thinking of for the coffin. Uh, oh, actually, there is one more thing I could do. I take all these pieces and hit I'd inset just a little bit, bring it up a little bit, maybe scale. Not too fancy or anything. Does that help in any way? to do with it yet but it kind of look like it looks like it fits the scene right now I have to have materials on some of these yeah okay well I'm not gonna do with that stuff yet uh, perhaps I could go in here Take a little piece, control L, shift D, pull this out. I'm gonna break this out. Uh, take off the mirror because it seems to be doing that. All right. Rotate Y90 minus. Not trying to put them in too straight or anything. see where these are uh -huh. they're, they're right there right eh? now can I move to collection coffin nice move to collection coffin my coffin but if I delete if I hide everything else make sure I still have those bolts yeah okay all right oh. you know that's what I was thinking to do for for the coffin
and I think I'm going to need, if you got a coffin, I think we're going to need a shovel, either beside the coffin or maybe even hanging on this with some hooks. And I think we're going to need some rope as well. Maybe we'll have some of the coffins on here, maybe it's more than one. Or maybe we just have a piece of wood or a piece of rope uh, hanging around. So uh, we're going to work on that uh, in a little bit, but I think I'll leave it at that for the time being. We got some holes in our lantern and we got a coffin.